in this tutorial what I'm going to do is that I'm going to execute few commands how to execute the commands that you'll get to know over here okay can you see we have discussed about this terminal over here right we have discussed about this terminal over here let me open the terminal over here and just say ls hyphen l if you are using Ubuntu right ls will display the list in your current directory okay let me clear it now what I want to do is that I want to build the project using the command right for that you would be using the shell script gradlew and just say build gradlew and what you can say build if you are on the windows what I'm saying if you are on the windows what I'm saying if you are on the windows right don't hit this dot forward slash just gradlew dot or space build right if you are on the Mac and the Linux use this command dot gradle w build it will build your project in this fashion something see build is successful here you can create the build in this fashion right here you can create the build something like in this fashion you have executed the command in the same way the way you have written the command you can just open that right you can just what you can say open this gradle slit can you see over here this gradle tap on the gradle over here and you would be getting few commands related to build related to setup related to documentation related to help other verification kind of these things this is related to testing so go over here and hit the double click on the build same thing would be getting invoked internally dot forward slash gradle w space build same thing it is happening over here right you have executed which command build command okay now if you want to create the library or if you want to create the library of this thing you can execute one command called as gradle dot forward slash gradle w and the jar java archive is the jar packaging or the bundling of classes interfaces in one file that is nothing but the archive file say enter it would be building the project first and then it would be generating the jar in this fashion now where is that jar where that jar has been created just go to this build in the root level because you have executed the root project so build folder would be getting generated then there would be libs and here you can find one jar file here you can find something called as jar file right here you created one file called as jar is that fine so here we created one file called as jar okay now if you try to execute this file by using java jar command you would be getting error right I'll show you cd not here cd build then you can say cd libs in the libs folder you can say java jar if you want to execute the jar file you are going to have java jar and brush up kind of thing brush up dot jar see no main manifest attribute in this jar no main manifest attribute in this jar how to resolve this that we'll see in coming tutorials few coming tutorials not now but remember that this is not the executable jar but you can make it executable how that we'll see in the next tutorials right here you executed one command java jar and before that you executed something like this so here ls hyphen l then dot slash gradle w right build you executed jar you executed build so what do you mean by all these things here you can get some 
details so i'm not going to go in that much details right that you can read but java or gradle java plugin you can get in the documentation what that means exactly see usage how you are going to use it apply plugin java right we have already applied it we have used it over here apply plugin java source sets see the plugin introduces the concept of the source set a source set is a simply group of source files which are compiled and executed together what do you mean by source set is simply group of source files which are compiled and executed together these source files may include the java source files and the resource files java source files and the resource file other plugin add the ability to include the groovy and the scala source files into this okay that is none of our business presently right okay see the tasks how many tasks are there classes is there which is going to generate assemble the production classes and the resource directories means you can hit this command dot not here come on this dot gradle w and you can say what you can say over here is that classes right classes and say enter so it would be creating some class files over here ready to be creating some production level class files or copies the production resources sorry not this this assembles the production classes into the resource directories and the resource directories process resources see these many task you would be getting if you are applying the java plugin if you are applying the java plugin assemble is there check is there build is there build needed performs a full build of the project and all the project it depends on it that is build needed so we have executed the build command now you can execute the build needed with the dependent project it is going to build that is build needed right they have given build dependence performs a full build of the project and all the projects depend on it depend on it and it is dependent on are the two different things dependent on and depends on it remember that depends on and depends on it right okay build config name and update config name something like this right so this is something about the java plugin at the time of android we'll see some more plugins as well right but in the android we are not going to use some commands many times right you would be using with this facility only now here you might have observed one thing so far we are executing what you can say root right so far we are executing root module but what if i want to execute this sample module which is also coming with its own structure right it is having its own structure build is there source is there gradle is there right you can have 1.8 over here source compatibility and you can have target compatibility also one pointed right clean the project any change in the build dot gradle will lead to clean or the refresh the gradle module right there is one command you can hit this that will refresh it for the android here somewhere you would be getting something right sync now right that is for the android okay now you will ask me one question so far you have executing some what you can say root level project what if i want to compile or make the classes of the sample module what can i do for that you are going to hit the same command likewise but you are going to precede it with the module name colon right colon and you can say sample colon task name colon module name colon task name so it would be executing right it would be executing what you can say the module of this task 
of the module right you can even generate the jar in this manner see build needed sample and jar something like this that's wrong jar something like this so you, you are going to precede it with the module name colon module name colon task so that would be the principle I hope you got this thing right okay now in the next tutorial what I'm going to execute is that I'm going to show you how to customize the tasks how you are going to override few tasks how you are going to get some more plugin right that we are going to see in the next tutorial so keep watching code cool channel